Jim, 13 strings, YouTube. What do you get when you take one beater piece of wood, one little dark string, and a record player turntable? Well, hopefully I'm going to end up with a bass guitar. One string bass guitar, but a bass guitar nonetheless. Hey, let's see if we can have fun with this. Okay, to begin with, we got to tear this little guy apart to get the one piece that I'm really interested in, and that's this cartridge. With the turntable finally apart here, we can hunt for the little wires to cut. This is the one that goes up to the tone arm. So I'm just going to hack that baby because I'm going to splice into this thing in a bit. And this comes to the uh, reverse engineering portion of our little joyride. we got to figure out how this thing's put together and get it apart. Ah, uh, there we go. The object of my desire. This little phono cartridge is going to be the heart and soul and the electrical part of my guitar. Now, for the purpose of this here little project, any old scrap heap piece of wood is going to do. Now, I'm not even going to bother measuring this magpie. I'm just going to, like, uh, draw this thing out and cut it with a knife. You may notice I'm not taking any kind of care to make any fine adjustments or measurements. This is going to be a fretless base which means it's simpler to build. Once again, no expense spared, we use the finest in adhesives. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't short this thing. Ha! And let's see if I can figure out how to get this string attached. Ah, oh, this'll do. Oh yeah, a little adjustment. The thing that makes it electric is you put it across the pickup that the needle would usually ride. Tuning is absolutely unessential since it's fretless. Back to the phonograph for one more piece of equipment we need. The wires. Alright, with the wires stripped maybe we can start connecting some things. I'm sorry, I can't even wait for the glue to dry. I'll plug this thing into my trusty hi-fi and see what happens. Go. Yeah.